All right, let's find out if what f of x inverse is. So to find an inverse, remember this is kind of like y equals 5x minus 9. So to find yeah. the inverse, you flip the x and the y. That's if you're given an equation, you can find the inverse by flipping the oh, yeah, yeah, interchanging yeah, them, yeah, I know and that, then yeah. solving for y. Mm -hmm. So now let's solve for y. x plus 9 equals 5y. y equals 1 fifth x plus 9 fifths. There's the inverse function of f of x. x and so we would write f five. inverse. We would write f negative 1 of x, which means f inverse equals 1 fifth x plus 9 fifths. And the reason I write it in function notation is because this is a function. If it wasn't a function, I wouldn't write it with function notation. Let me give you an example. What if g of x was equal to 1 half x squared plus 3? Now, I'm thinking in my head, the reason I know the inverse isn't going to be a function is because this right here is a parabola right? So yeah. if I flip that parabola over the line y equals x, which is, by the way, how you, another way to do an inverse is you graph it and you flip it over the line y equals x, is that going to pass the vertical line test? No. No. So I know the inverse isn't a function, okay? So I'm going to find out, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you can see that by flipping the x and y. So here's your equation. Now I'll, I'll switch colors to do the inverse. So x equals one half y cubed. Sorry, squared, not cubed. Squared plus three. So I'm gonna subtract three from both sides. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. Two x minus six equals y squared. And now I'm gonna take the square root of both sides. But remember, whenever you take the square root, what do you have to do? Plus or minus. You have to put a plus or minus sign in front of it. So that equation right there is actually that and the bottom half of that because of the plus and the minus. So I can't write f inverse of x, or sorry, g inverse of x. I can't write that because it's not a function. It doesn't pass the vertical line test.